Welcome everyone to Agro Sweat Back at Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. Yes, I know it's been a while I haven't actually done a video in the back of garden with my camcorder. So in this video picture, I'm gonna do just that. In this video picture, we're gonna harvest, yes, we're gonna harvest the pineapple. The pineapple we've decided to grow in a pot. I must say this is indeed a success story. I grew the pineapple in a pot about two years ago and it finally produced this year. And I wasn't sure when was the right time to harvest the pineapple. I got the advice that I should harvest it before it actually ripe. But I have to say, I completely forgot about the pineapple yet again in the corner of the yard, hiding away. But I decided I'm gonna go in that area of the garden. I then remembered the pineapple is there, so I went to check it out, and actually, it's ripe. The pineapple is ripe, so thank God at least I got to harvest it or I got to notice it on time before it actually ripe and spoil. There is a bit of a confusion right now. This was a very difficult plant to get here although it's in a container every single one of these has some sort of spike or prickle so i had to actually throw down the pot hold the base of the pot and drag it or pull it away with the pineapple face in that way and i pull it away from it because any sudden jerk of these spines on this thing on your skin they are literally hooking or going into your skin so it's difficult so in a sense usually when you're harvesting pineapple in a landfill no i mean not a landfill in essence, if you have this in a pineapple in a field, you have this suit on you where you have all these sort of gloves and this cloth or clothing which will actually make it difficult for the spines or the prickles to actually penetrate. However, this is a backyard garden. So I'm going to use my more conventional way of actually harvesting the pineapple. First thing first, I'm going to remove all of these because for now they're not going to really make sense leave them on. So let's just go ahead and do just that. And of course, use a very sharp knife to ensure that it, it's you know, quickly and effectively. Gosh, it's falling. It is, it, oh my God, it is falling. Hold on, eh? I always use a glove, at least a glove. Let's see. I will just hold a big portion there. Yeah, I hold a big portion there and just cut it off like that. But it's, it's bending too. Oh, my. This one just put. It's bending towards me. I know you want me to have a stick on me. <laughs> but you have to wait still. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there are so many. Uh -uh. Okay, so I think I got, for some reason it's bending towards my side. I don't know why. And by the way, it's a very rainy day today, so if my glasses, is, if you can see the water in my glasses or if my hair is looking very wet, it's a very rainy day today. It's a tropical wave passing today. Um, right. Okay. So, this is our pineapple. Okay, let me just make every single one of these so that you can get a nice view. Oh, careful. This is one of those for your skin. You're in a bit of a painful trouble. Oh, you know, sometimes I always wonder is there some miracle hidden in pineapple that God had to ensure that it's so secure by all these sort of spikes and, and thorns? You ever wonder about that? I mean, the source of plant which is said to actually be able to cure cancer or to prevent or heal cancer. Um, it's not overly protected as a pineapple. So I'm wondering, is there some hidden secret in pineapple? Okay, so this is our pineapple right here. We've got our pineapple. Isn't it looking beautiful? Yes, it does. Okay, guys, so the pineapple is ready. What accidentally happened is one of these came out by mistake. And I remember you guys told me that if I plant this, so as you can see, this one is right here. Here's one. Just simply break it off. You guys told me if I plant these, they will actually produce earlier and faster than planting this top. So basically after I harvest this pineapple, I will replant this part here and then it will produce again. But this part, this one here will grow much faster. And I've also got some good news, which is I don't know if that's a usual thing. But I noticed there's another one like this growing right between there. Let me see if I can get it out. There's another one. 
voll an. Okay. So there is yet another. Okay, let me just have this pineapple now. So there we go. This is our pineapple. Wow. Harvested pineapple from the market garden. Such an awesome, awesome result. And it smells delicious. I'm not quite sure if I should do a video eating it or making drink with it. But either way, it's going to be a very interesting video following up what we're going to do with it. Okay guys, so this is the pineapple. Now, I have been so busy. I will tell you guys straight off that it's difficult to find time now. This is so precious right now. Having so many new responsibilities and things to do that I've not been able to find enough time to actually commit to doing as many videos I, as I wanted to for August Rain. So much so that I made a commitment that I will cut this pineapple a day after I harvest it. And right now it's five days after I harvest it. Five days, guys. So now I'm finally gonna cut it for you guys to see. Now, if you notice this hair area, it's, this area it's a bit more brown than hair. That's because it's starting to spoil really. I'm not quite sure how much it's spoiling, but let's just cut it to see. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I want to make a drink with it for you guys to see. Right, so you, as you guys can see, it already started to spoil a bit here. Now I really want to make a drink with it for you guys to see. So I'm gonna freeze it. I'm gonna freeze it most definitely. Okay, so here it is. We got this right here. So I'm gonna replant this. And remember, this have a lot of prickles, guys. Oh my God, one prick me. Okay, hold on. So remember to take off this oh, one prick my hand. I can feel it in my skin. All right, so remove all this here. Ouch. Oh boy, 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 boy. I can feel it. Hold on, that's that's the best way. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna plant this. To see if I can get another plant from it. You have a lot, right? So I will plant this, and hopefully, when I plant it, I will get a new plant out of it. So I'm just gonna put all this on the side here for a while. Don't mind my <laughs> tidiness here. It's only temporary. Okay, right. So I'm gonna. You know, you've got to remove all this part right here. Just remove it. Because you want the fruity part of it. Now I'm not quite sure. Oh, yes, no. Right. I'm not sure if I should dice it and freeze it, or try to freeze it like that. But I think I'm gonna dice it because of the fact that um, it's big and it might take up a lot of space in the fridge. So as you can see right here, it's very much overripe. See, there's brown. And that's a nice creamy color. So it's overripe, of course. Maybe with the next video, I'll have more time to cut it the same day. I'm not quite sure. Let me just give it a taste to see. Let me see. Mm, I can smell it. It's overripe. I don't even need to taste it. I can smell it's overripe. So I, I might just make a drink with it. I really want to make a drink with it for you guys to see. So I'm going to freeze it. Okay. I'm just going to cut it up and freeze it. Oh, it is so juicy. I need to taste it to see, but I can see it's not going to taste as nice as when I just harvest it. I am so sorry. But the good thing is that you can freeze it. Now, pineapple is a very, um, is the word versatile. It's very sensitive. It can spoil pretty quick. The juice can also turn sour pretty quick, so it's important that if you're making a drink with it, you really make a drink but I enjoy it almost like the same day as the next day because it can go sour quickly okay so I'm gonna try to get this one out um, it is so deep in there I don't know if I should just leave this one yeah I think I'm just gonna leave this one so I'm gonna try my best to cut off all the other leaves around this and I'm gonna leave this one so that it will become a next plant. That's what I'm gonna do. Right. So all the base, all the way here. Right. So I moved the old. This was a pineapple. 
stuff all on. So here, this is what the pineapple is going to do too. And so since there's already soil in there and everything, I'm just going to allow this one to grow and be the next pineapple in this container. So voila, here we have it. Right here we've got a new pineapple plant ready to grow and produce for us. So this was a very interesting journey. Of course guys, I hope that you decide to try this out. I've got some pots. I've got maybe about eight pots with small pineapples like this growing. So I'm hoping to start growing my pineapples a lot more in the pots. So thank you very much for subscribing to Agro Street Backyard Garden. Of course, I'd like to encourage you to try to grow your own crop in your backyard garden. Find innovative way to actually grow your crop. Grow it in a container, grow it in a raised bed, grow it on a stand, grow it in the ground, grow it somewhere. Grow something you can eat, which will help you to be a healthier person. Thank you so very much for subscribing to Agrosuit Back in Garden. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, of course. Don't forget guys to check me out on Instagram. And if you guys have an interesting video you've seen on the internet where it's related to water conservation, healthy eating, sustainable agricultural practices, innovation in agriculture, of course, leave a comment below so that I could react to it for the impromptu Tuesday. Thank you very much. And remember guys, the backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agros Wade is out.